Alright, hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy 2. This is Levi here from the Buzz Cowboy. And um, in this episode, we are going to be continuing through World S. So, we have completed all of these, uh, ouch, um, these levels. And so now we actually only have two more galaxies. Yeah, actually, I'm not going to spoil it, but it looks like we only have two more galaxies left in um, Super Mario Galaxy 2. So, um, this is the Boss Blitz Galaxy, and it is a throwback galaxy to the first game. So, um, you can go ahead, throwback, throwdown, yeah. So, basically what you do is you fight a bunch of bosses from previous games, one after another, and they get proceedingly harder, I think. Except for the last ones, actually, I think, personally, kind of easy. So, um, yeah, there's, you'll get a lot of star bits from this, so definitely player two would be helpful. You can also grind star bits from here. Um, and it turns out that there is a, what's it called? Uh, I can't think of what it's called. Oh yeah, a speed run of this. So I'll probably just speed up and play music during that. But um, until then, yeah. So for this first boss, you're gonna wanna spin and hit the tail, and that's how you defeat him, basically. Ah. So yeah, see, this you're gonna get a lot of star bits from this. Level. And I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to try and get as many star bits as you end up needing for the game. Uh, even though I have a bank toad, I'm going to try and do it uh, so that I have it just in my personal wallet, if you know what I mean. Um, so that way you got, it's, I guess you could say fair. And, uh, yeah. Anyway. Yeah, so it only takes three hits to beat this guy. He's not hard at all. Um... But yeah, this galaxy is somewhat long. The speed run is five minutes, I believe. So yeah. Oh, and there's also the comet metal down here. Or, or wait, let me show you a speed running tactic. I believe. I believe. Yeah, I believe this is a speed running tactic. So not yet. It's actually you have to wait till the third time he spits something out. So this is King Caliente. He spits out coconuts, and you hit him back. And um, yeah, that's how you beat him. He's not hard at all. Yeah. Oh man. So yeah, here I'll show you how you do the speed run. Oh my gosh, dang it. Oh, sorry I keep not talking. So basically, uh, you hit the coconut back. You play bocce ball or, or not bocce ball. You play tennis with him. Why did I say bocce ball? And, um, wow, this is getting sad. Oh my goodness. If I actually fail on this... So now what you want to do is long jump down here, get the six life, get the comet medal, and then if you long jump back up there, you'll do it just in time for the coconut to come, as you just saw it but I accidentally was a little bit too slow. So, um, yeah, but that's how you do it. And uh, it'll help you a lot in the speed run. I don't see why he didn't just hit it straight back to me. It shows that he's retarded, I guess. And, oh, yeah, speed running tactics right next to the launch star. This next boss actually had trouble in the first game beating. He's not that hard either. Uh, that I look back and see how much I failed on him. So right now, I believe you can only get hurt if you actually touch those pokey plants. And uh, if you hit him in the helmet. But yeah, this guy takes three hits. You ground pound the ground next to him. And then when he comes out, uh, you end up obviously spinning into him. And uh, if you can get him to go under there, then you can get a bunch of star bits. But I already have 53. So when he goes like that, ground pound, and then chase him, and hit him in the butt. Oh yeah, you just got s butt spiked, and then he gets all pissed off at you. Um, so this part is actually somewhat hard right here, just because he goes so fast. Um, and he actually comes after you twice, so be careful. So he'll fall back, and then I'll jump at it again, and then that's when you hit him. Oh man, I failed. But yeah, you know what I mean. Uh, 
So I'd actually wait a little bit until he gets closer to you. So that way it's easier. There you go. Right now I'm failing, but uh, speedrunning this hopefully won't be that bad. Um, and of course, there's your launch. This is the toughest boss of them all. It's Boulder Geese. He takes up the most time in the speedrun, and he's definitely the toughest. And it's weird, you jump all the way out there and then you go into the center, I thought. So yeah, this is Boulder Geese. He's not hard, but, well, he's somewhat hard, but he's the hardest of the bosses. So what I'll do is I'll throw rocks at you and see these black rocks. Those actually turn out to be little bombs, and you can spin them like this and hurt him. And that's how you end up hitting him and getting hits in on him. He'll do that and make spikes. They don't hurt you. They just block your way. So you can actually shake and them and kill him. And then, yeah, that's how you do it. And then just come over here, you know. And uh, he'll go like this. I believe three times actually, and you just have to hit him with one of the bombs, I believe. Yeah, just one. And then I'll go into his second stage, which is much tougher. Um, he'll actually get arms, and you kind of, you don't have to, but it's very difficult to kill him without breaking at least one of his arms. And he'll have new attacks too, like see that punch. And um, I found out you can actually go like right here and let him. And then that way you can get in more hits on him. But I just got a bunch of hits. So I don't know if that's a great idea. I think you're supposed to walk in on him. Like come out here. And then when he starts throwing him, like fly in. The gold ones are coins, by the way. Yeah, there we go. So, yeah, I guess it's worth it. I mean, a hit for a hit. And it's a boss. Plus you get coins. So, uh, yeah, for this attack, have him like that and then let him crush the box he made very efficient and then again just have him throw those rocks at you and yeah oh wow I actually need some health right now yeah this is not that hard so I don't know why I'm feeling so much but he takes a lot of time that's the thing about it what oh my gosh look at the coin landed on me uh, at least we got the checkpoint. I mean, that would suck if you didn't get the checkpoint. Oh, wait. Do I, yeah, I'm going to get a six life. Just so that this can go faster. Which, by the way, in the speed run, you're going to want to get this six life. Um, which will it be life? Uh, this takes forever. Oh, so full. Yeah, I'm going to transform. Yeah, kill yourself. That's right. She's suicidal. Suicidal, why am I assuming that a Luma's a girl? Cause it sh what? Oh my gosh, really? Really? That was sad. Oh my gosh, I just wasted 30 star bits now that I think about it. Yeah, right, life. Oh my gosh, Luma, hurry up, let's go. Oh, so full on Alright, now this time we're not going to commit suicide, and we're actually going to go the right way. And see, of course, we go right back to the center. I'll try and make this as fast as possible. No, I'm going to try and make it slow for you guys. I'm going to torture you. So try and get two bombs here, obviously, because then you get two hits on him. I think he needs three to change form. Yep, just break these, no big deal. Oh, yeah, broken. Yeah. And, oh, man. Yeah, he'll only send out however many uh, bombs you need, and he'll always send out one coin per round if you need help, I believe. Yeah, I believe it's one coin per round if you need help. Like, if your health isn't already full, if you know what I mean. Yay. Second form. Yeah, this is taking way too long, by the way. I'm sorry I'm failing so much right now. This is actually kind of sad. Yep, so run in on him. Yeah, but don't try to hit his body. It goes way faster that way. Um, yeah, just start outside and then walk in. Um, it's pretty simple other than that. 
And I'm actually, I'm interrupted right now, so I'm going to have to meet you back here after the cut, sorry. Alright, hey guys, I went ahead and beat Boulder Geese because I actually failed two times, so my lives count's going to be down two. Um, and, uh, yeah, I was just interrupted by my sister, but it was, it was nice of her. So, uh, anyway, yeah, we're just going to face this fiery piran dino piranha now. The only difference about him is, is that when he, sometimes when his tail's on fire, you cannot hit him. Like, see how it's on fire? And then it's black and, uh, cooled down. You can only hit it when it's cooled down. And so that's mainly the thing about him. Otherwise, yeah, he just leaves a trail of fire behind and, yeah, don't hit the fire, I guess. That's my only advice. Um, yeah. So anyway, it's pretty easy boss. Um, that was kind of weird how his tail went. So yes, yeah, so this is a somewhat tough boss. Not too bad, though. Um, he is the cause of some pain, but not too much. So uh, yeah, just follow behind of his tail on the side of it, I would say. And then that way, uh, whenever it turns to normal, you can be right away ready. And I don't know how good that was grammatically, but, um, yeah. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so see, that wasn't too bad. Uh, that's actually probably going to have to be the end of the episode, though. We only got one star done. Um, but this is a long galaxy. So, yeah. I'm sorry. That's how it's going to have to be. So, you know, we'll do with No, I'm kidding. But, uh, yeah. So anyway, thank you though for watching. Um, yeah, if you watched, thank you very much. You just helped me a lot. Yeah, so that actually was a little bit tough now that I think about it. But anyway, yeah, this is going to have to be the end of the episode right here. So, um, yeah, thank you for watching. And yeah, five stars left in this game. Alright. So here we go. Alright, that sounded really dumb. Alright, so let's see. Looks like a green one followed you back. Don't see those fellers often. I bet he's got some interesting tales to tell. Why don't you go say hello? Actually, you know what? We're gonna do that really fast because this is actually half very important part of the game. Come on Yoshi, how about yeah. Let's let Yoshi join us. Alright, there we go. Infinite flutter for the win. And, come on Yoshi, let's go see what this Luma has to say. Um, seeking the cosmic jewels has been our lifelong pursuit. They're saying that they can be found when all the stars have been collected. So that's actually a hint to what happens next after you get all the stars. Anyway, thanks for watching this episode of Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy 2. This is Lee right here from the Buzz Cut Boy, and, um... Until next episode, I'll be seeing you next time, even though that made no sense. Alright, bye.